This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10, and today in this video I'm going to talk about how to determine or how to identify oxidizing and reducing agents. So we have a sample problem. For the given reactions, classify the reactants as the reducing agent, oxidizing agent, or neither. To determine reducing and oxidizing agents, or which species is being oxidized or reduced, we need to determine the oxidation numbers of the species. An oxidation number is the number of electrons gained or lost by an atom when forming a chemical bond. Oxidation numbers are very similar to ionic charges, just that not all atoms do become ions. Oxidation numbers describe the number of valence electrons around an atom or ion. So these are the basic rules. Atoms in their elemental states have oxidation numbers of zero. Ions keep their charges. Oxygen in a compound is negative two, unless it is a peroxide, in which case it'll be negative one. Fluorine is negative one. Hydrogen is plus one, unless it is a hydride, in which case it'll be negative one. And the sum of oxidation numbers equals the charge of the substance. So if it's a neutral compound, the sum of the oxidation numbers will equal zero. So let's start with the first reaction in our sample problem. Three molecules of oxygen react with four atoms of iron to make an iron oxide. Let's start with O2. O2 is a neutral compound, so that means that all the elements in it must add up to an oxidation number of zero. So since we only have oxygen, and we have two oxygens making a total charge of zero, each oxygen has to have an oxidation number of zero. Next, we have iron in its elemental state, so that's automatically an oxidation number of zero. And we're also told that oxygen in a compound has an oxidation number of negative two. So all we have left to do is to calculate the oxidation number of iron in iron oxide. So we know that the total charge of iron oxide ha has to be zero because it's a neutral compound. So we know that two times the oxidation of, of iron plus three times the oxidation number of oxygen is equal to zero. We know that the oxidation number of oxygen is negative two, so we're going to substitute that into our equation. Two times the oxidation number of iron plus three times negative two equals zero. Three times negative two is equal to negative six, so our equation becomes two times the oxidation number of iron minus six equals zero. If we add six to each side, we get that two times the oxidation number of iron is equal to six. We divide each side by two, and we get that the oxidation number of iron is plus three. Now that we know the oxidation numbers of the species, we can calculate the oxidizing and reducing agents. Now that we know the oxidation number of each species, we can calculate the oxidizing or determine the oxidizing and reducing agents. So if we're looking at iron, we see that iron goes from an oxidation number of zero to plus three. Since its oxidation number increases, it is being oxidized. So iron becomes iron three plus, and it's being oxidized in that process, that would be its half reaction, so that iron is oxidized, and that means that iron is the reducing agent, which is a little confusing. What that says is that iron is causing the oxygen to be reduced. That's why it's the reducing agent. So iron is being oxidized, and we refer to that as the reducing agent. Now let's look at oxygen. Oxygen is going from an oxidation number of zero to an oxidation of, of, of negative two. In other words, its oxidation number is being reduced, so oxygen is being reduced. This is its half reaction. Oxygen is going from zero to negative two. Because its oxidation number is being reduced, oxygen is reduced, and we call oxygen the oxidizing agent because it is causing, by oxygen being reduced, it is causing the oxidation of iron. Let's look at the second reaction. Here we have hydrogen plus bromine yield two hydrogen bromide. We know that a total charge of a compound has to be zero of a neutral compound. Since two hydrogens together make up a zero charge compound, we know that hydrogen, in this case, has an oxidation number of zero. And the same thing with bromine. Since two bromine atoms together make a compound of zero charge, each bromine must be zero itself. Now let's look at the products. We are told that ions keep their charges, so bromide, Br minus one, has an oxidation number, number of negative one, and hydrogen, to make it neutral, has an oxidation number of plus one. Since the oxidation number of hydrogen goes from zero to plus one, its oxidation number increases, so it's being oxidized. 
So we have hydrogen being oxidized, which means it is the reducing agent. H2 is the reducing agent. And looking at bromine, since bromine is going from an oxidation number of zero to negative one, its oxidation number decreases, so it's being reduced, and this is its half reaction. Since bromine is being reduced, it is referred to as the oxidizing agent. Br2 is the oxidizing agent. I hope this video was helpful. For more chemistry help, go to chemin10.com, sign up, and get a free copy of my Amazon.com bestselling book, Solving Mole Problems. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin 10.